both of us. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Winnie and Cat Independent Stylist Conference Call. Tonight is Monday, June 16th, and I am really happy to say that June has started out great. And sometimes, the, well, actually always, the summer is, is kind of known to be um, a slow time in direct sales, and I am just I am so excited that we're just we're keeping up with the momentum, which is just it is so important right now where we are with our business and where you are with your businesses. So like this um, like this picture says, it doesn't get easier. You just get better. And I want to do some motivation on this call. I want to get us all fired up. You're here on the call because you care about your business. You care about Winnie and Cat and you care about yourself. And you're taking the time and you're taking the commitment to work on your business. So you've invested, you're here, let's make the most of it. Let's make the most out of out of our lives. You know, let's just let's do this and we're in the best place that we could be right now. We're in ground floor of a company that is just we've got a great product. We've got an amazing team of independent stylists who are early comers, entrepreneurial. You guys are awesome. So I wanted to start with some thank yous. And these are the stylists who worked it last week, okay? And I don't care if you, whether you, well, I do care for those of you who threw amazing parties. That is so awesome. And even if you just bought a poolside dress sample for yourself, thank you for working it. Thank you for staying engaged. Thank you for staying. Thank you for keeping on, um, keeping in touch because that is so much of it. Just keeping in touch and keep on working it. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Renee, Elizabeth, Susan Kane, Ellen, Jill Erickson, Jennifer Mazur, Lisa McCartney, Mary, Molly, Cumberland, Kat, Meredith, Francie, Michelle Chang, Lori, Leanne, Anastasia, Desi, Pat, our new stylist from San Francisco, and Natalie. Thank you. Thank you all. And um, you're so important to me. You mean so much to me. And your support and being on this call whether you're here tonight, which I love and I can see you, or if you're joining in during the week. It, this is, um, it's really amazing to me that you're here and that we're building this together. So tonight I want to talk about, and feel free during the call to type in questions, and if you want to share something, if you have an aha moment, type it in questions. If I don't get to you, I'll get back to you after the call. This is going to be um, about a half an hour call tonight, and towards the end of the call, We've got some announcements, and Tiff's going to talk about the specials that we're going to do tomorrow night to celebrate the grand opening around the country, not just here in Los Angeles. So, and by the way, the move the move has gone awesome. Jennifer uh, P., independent stylist here in Malibu, set up the front part of the office. It, it, it's our living room away from home, and it is it's amazing. You will not believe it, Francie. Another one of our independent stylists is going to, um, and she's our, and Francie's our photographer. Francie's going to be taking pictures, and I just can't wait. We're going to have some really nice um, new graphics to share with everybody, as well as a Fourth of July video that will be released probably tomorrow. So tonight I want to talk about how to fix your game. So if you were on that list on the last slide. And whether you were or whether you weren't, let's step it up, okay? Let's think about how to fix your game, all right? You're here. You're in the company. Whatever you're doing, are you a top seller and you need to learn, you need to start building? Are you a builder and you need to start selling? Are you, are you amazing at both and you just want to keep on getting better? What do you need to do to take care of yourself? and your family, okay? No excuses anymore. This is your money. This is your money, and time is money. So let's talk about making the most of your time. I want to talk tonight 
about having your elevator pitch really tight. This is when you, when you you want to share with everyone you 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 get in touch with. Every woman or you know now we we have two men independent stylists. Everyone you talk to, and I'm going to talk about, I'm going to go through some points about elevator pitch, the elements to the pitch. I'm going to give kind of a generic pitch, and then I'm going to talk about some examples of customizing your pitch. So I find having your elevator pitch is, is so important because it helps you be more confident and it helps you be enthusiastic, right? A lot of the stylists who, who've joined or who are great at recruiting say that it's really, it's their enthusiasm, it's the way they share what they do and how they feel about their business and those words too. You might feel it and you might just need those words to say it. So I'm going to share, I'm going to share some elevator pitches and, and some ideas. Again, if you have questions, type them in the box. Okay. It's important to have your elevator pitch tight. And your elevator pitch is not everything you do, okay? It is not all-inclusive. It's the purpose of an elevator pitch is to get someone's attention. You want to know, you want that person to ask you more and carry on the conversation beyond the pitch. The pitch is, a, is, is, is a sort of a hook. It's what you say to get a person to want to know more, to want to know you, okay? So these are just some, some other points, some points related to it. You have about 20 to 30 seconds to pitch. Um, these are just some, some other points where purchasing power has declined and wages are not going up. So are you going to wait for things to get better for you to get your share, okay? Are you going to sit and wait for the fall or get your business going right now? So have your elevator pitch tight and get out there and be ready, to, be ready to share it. There's four elements to a pitch. And there's different ways. It's this, there's not an exact way to do a pitch. In fact, um, there's a book I recommend called To Sell is Human by Daniel Pink, and he talks about four different formulas for pitches, different types of pitches. But I want to share with you tonight with this one way, an easy way to really craft a strong and concise pitch. Okay, so a pitch, the four elements to the pitch are one, getting attention. Okay, two, make a big claim. Three, find out if this person is interested. And then you have the opportunity to present your product, which might or might not be part of the pitch. That might be a follow-up after your pitch. Okay, so I'm going to share with you, here's a, here's a generic, here's a generic um, pitch, pitch one. I own a women's empowerment through fashion company. I help women create extra flows of income by having fun with clothes. Then I say, what if I could show you how to earn some extra cash or pay enough to maybe cover some bills or even replace a full-time income eventually? So, and if I said it like not reading the slide, I'd probably, what I always say is, I own a women's empowerment through fashion company. That's usually how I start, and then I pause, because people always ask questions. Wow, what does that mean? Wow, I love women's empowerment. Wow, that's so cool. I love fashion. So then that gives you a way to kind of feel, because I have, I have different pitches that are customized depending on the person. You know, if I'm talking to someone who is, an empty nester, I'm going to have something different to say than if I talk to someone who is in their 20s looking for something extra to do while she's trying to find a job or, you know, some extra income to build up a business while she's, um, while she's building up her career. So, um, so customize the pitch and have a lot of different pitches and, and, you know, they can come out really conversationally and that's important too. You know, you're going to be able to feel and the more you practice, the better you're going to get, the more natural it's going to become. So pitch two. I, I, and this would be, you know, if I'm, I'm talking to someone, I know she's a mom, all right? And think about what you're, the person you're talking to, what she might get 
out of the business? What is, what is her motives? So sometimes I say, I help moms find a creative hobby with the side benefit of it. The improper. I have a few extra words there, but I, I, I help moms find create find a creative hobby. You know, don't you sometimes just want something extra to do? Have you ever found yourself being a stay at home mom? And um, you know, I know when I was when I was a stay at home mom for a short stint, I learned how to sew. I mean, you know, there a lot. There's a lot of moms out there, stay at home moms, who are looking for other things to do. You know, going on Pinterest and you know whether whatever it is, baking or. But you know, I help moms find a creative hobby with the side benefit of earning extra money. Okay, then you could bring it into an example. I loved buying a pair of Louboutins last month with my own fun money and not asking my husband, how would you like to be my partner? How would you like to be my partner? You know, I'm doing this, I'm doing this great business. I'm earning extra money. I bought a pair of Prada shoes last month. How would you like to do this with me and be my partner? Hey, would you like to be my partner? So that's one example of a pitch. And obviously, you don't have to be the same. You know, if you're if you're not a mom and you're talking to a mom, you can think of other ways. You know, you could you maybe use an example of, yeah, I help this mom, uh, the stay-at-home mom, and she does it because she loves it, and she loves earning extra income and not asking her husband. Okay, um, you can specialize, and you can you can create your niche within Winnie and Cat. And one possibility is simplifying wardrobes. You know, there's a lot out there now on minimalizing, on slow fashion, having a set number of pieces in your closet, not having a million things, and not having to, it, taking away that, that step of deciding what to wear in the morning. I mean, how many of us have so many pieces of, you know, too many pieces of clothes and nothing to wear? Okay, so... That's a problem that we solve, right? So that's one thing you want to do is you want to be able to kind of connect with the person and see how you can solve their problem. So, and this is, you know, maybe, some, you know, I know a lot of you have full-time jobs. So here's an example. And this would be to talk to someone who has a full-time job who might be wondering. And you might hear their, hear their cues, which are entries. So, you know, I, I can't, I, or, you know, but some, maybe someone says, how do you have time for this? You know, I work a full-time job and I have kids. How could I find time for this? Well, you know what? On the side of my full-time job, I earn money simplifying women's wardrobes. My husband was skeptical about my new hobby at first until I earned enough to pay for our anniversary trip to Vegas. <laughs> Since then, he watches the kids while I go out and have fun selling Winnie and Cat clothes. What do you do in the evenings? <laughs> okay, I know I might answer that in you know, previous life. Um, I make dinner for the kids, I help with homework, and you know, how fun would it be to be able to, oh, okay, well, you know, how, how would you like to go out and have fun? Um, so there's, there's another example. All right, pitch four. And this would be more geared towards someone who's thinking about retirement. You know, a lot of people are are, are afraid. You know, you know this, and, and and the you know you know how the economy is. And by working your Winnie and Cat business, you're going to be able to put away that nest egg. You know, you're here at the beginning, and that's why that's why you you know one of the reasons why you join and one of the benefits of joining. Okay, so. Um, Thank you, Jennifer. I'm glad you like this one. I like this one, too. Um, I'm building my retirement by becoming financially independent. I sell clothes to women. Who do you know who wears clothes? <laughs> you know, I add some humor. People, be the person who the person you're talking to wants to be with, okay? Be that person who you want people, be that person who your prospects want as a business partner, okay? We want to all want to have fun, right? We want to spend our days having fun. And when you're having fun and when you are, you know, you have humor, people are going to want to be around you. And you want people to want you in their living rooms, having parties, hosting parties. So the more you practice 
the more you practice your pitches, and I do them when I'm driving, and, you know, and I practice. Like, you know, I went on that Shark Tank open casting call. You know, I'm not, a, I, there's like, I don't know how many, it's, I think they said like 60,000 or 80,000 or something uh, people try out for 185 spots, but you know what? I practiced, it gave me a great example to just practice, and I drove down to San Diego about a two and a half hour drive, and all I did was practice my pitch. I just practiced and practiced. And then when I went in and when I had my, I had my minute in front of the casting person, you know, I don't know if I'm what they're looking for or not, but I was, I had, I, I, I breezed through it. Because I just, you know, I practice. I practice my pitch all the time. So I sell clothing to women. Who do you know who wears clothes? I used to spend time worrying about my finances. Now I spend time focusing on building a business that gives me money to put away each month. All right? So no one yet is making a full-time income. You know, I mean, unless unless your full-time income is, you know, what, I don't think anyone right now has replaced their full-time income. Okay, we're still so early on, right? But you will three years from now, you know, probably earlier than that. If you keep going how you're going and we keep growing the way I know we're going to grow, you will. Right now, I know a lot of you have extra money from Winnie and Kat. Um, I talked to one stylist yesterday who was saying, you know, said it just gives me a little extra breathing room. It just gives me you know, I, I said, how, do, how does it make you, what, what do you do with it? You know, like, what does this mean to you? It means I buy groceries with it. Gives me a little extra room to breathe. So where I used to spend time worrying, you know, and this is something that makes this, makes this a truth, too. Because what you focus on is what you're going to get. Okay? So if we spend time worrying, if we... Spend time stressing if we spend time thinking about why we're not successful. Take that same time, take that same energy, and focus it on how you can make it work, okay? Because for everything I have heard of why someone can't, tells me she can't do it, whether it's, um, you know, this, this, town or the prices or whatever, I hear 10 people complimenting the, the, the business. So I can give a counter example, and it's, it's very interesting, because even in the same town, I'll hear one person say one thing and another person have a completely different experience. So focus on where you put your focus is what you're going to get. And it's just, um, that's just the truth. That's just how life works. So focus, focus, focus. And if you need help, call me, call Tiff, call your upline, or get together with another stylist who might not even be on your team. You know, feel free to ask us, and we'll connect you with another stylist who might be having success where you have room for improvement. So, um Elizabeth said, a post in there, um, I, that's another, this is another point of the business. I, do you want to share it, Elizabeth? Can I, can I put you on the spot and, t and take you off of a speaker? Are you guys there, Tiff and Elizabeth? Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hey. Yeah, um, yeah, I was, I wrote that I have only been shopping once since I joined Winning and Cat. Um, I got some tank tops and a bathing suit, so I've saved money that way because I've been spending money on my clothes with Winnie and Kat. So. I love it. I, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. You know, I, I totally, I, I think that's a great benefit. You know, you're doing something, um, you're doing something where, you, you know, a lot of us, how many of us used to spend a lot of money, and, and it's also time. You know, that's something that is a creative, shopping is, can be a creative outlet. You know, going to the mall and looking or, you know, whatever. But at first, when you're investing with Winnie and Cat, uh, Winnie and Cat clothing, that's a business expense. So um, yeah, Michelle also said, I've not shopped for clothes once since joining Winnie and Cat. It's all part of that simplification, you know. Um, so 
when you shop for clothes now you're investing you're investing in your own business instead of putting money into someone else's pocket you know we're not putting money into big business we're working on building our own businesses so when we you know you buy your pool side dress you buy your Chrissy snow romper you know um, this is you know this is you you have an extra cash flow that way you can you can you can write it off you know there's there's a lot of examples of um, you know I can't give tax advice but there's a lot of examples of how you can do that when you're owning your own business so talk to your accountant about that and um, you know, like Kat said shopping for my own living room is very therapeutic Kat can I take you can I put you on the spot and take you off um... hey Kat how you doing Hi, Diane. Great. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. What did you mean by, sh you said shopping from my own living room is very therapeutic. What did you mean it's, by that? It's very therapeutic. There's no stress. There's no parking to worry about. There's no other customers literally on my back shopping through the same racks. I had a customer come over the, um, over the weekend, and we just had a great time trying on all the pieces in my living room, just shopping piece by piece by piece trying on all the pieces, complimenting each other on the pieces, and she ended up buying the um, marble maxi skirt. That's that awesome. Night. So yeah. it's very therapeutic. I absolutely love it. Love it. So shopping therapy. Thanks for sharing, Kat. I can't, wait to, can't wait to see you next month. I know. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And um, Anastasia, can I, 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 I'm putting everyone on the spot. Can I, put, can, I, can I take you off of me? Do you mind sharing, Anastasia? And then Mary, you're next, so let me know if you can talk to. Anastasia, are you there? Can you hear me? Hey. hey. Sorry, I just walked in the door and I got my mouth full. I was like, I'm glad I wasn't off, <laughs> off already. Well, all the local stylists know when they have a suggestion, they get a job, basically. <laughs> I yeah. of you probably know that, too. But what, <laughs> it, what, was, what were you sharing, Anastasia? Will you share with everybody? Yeah, well... I've been I've been on a diet for the last um, several several weeks and I've lost enough weight that I've changed sizes and um, it's been really fun because part of the reason that motivated the diet was I've been so frustrated trying to get in my closet and not have anything that fits so it's been fun going down to my trunk and pulling out this and saying oh yeah this fits and and I always have something to wear yeah and that's a that's a great that's a great selling point when you're talking to someone who's in transition yeah, I, I love that I've been, I've been talking to making some calls back to some women who have been you know who have declined parties over the winter saying oh I put on so much weight over the winter I've actually said you know these our clothes are, are great if you're in transition because they will grow and shrink with you as you need them to um, and uh, pregnant women I talked to a couple of pregnant women at an expo this weekend who were super excited about the fact that the lounge pants and the maxi skirt have the lower waistband that they can wear with their bellies. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Well, thank you for sharing, Anastasia. I appreciate it. Thank you. And Lori also said she's had a lot of interest. She got, I think you had a great party, Lori, at the, at the weight. Lori's done shows at the weight loss clinic and um, said that's a great idea for a trunk show location, too. Um, can I, Lori, I'm trying to find you. Can I take you off of mute for a sec, Lori? And Mary, you're coming up. Hey, Lori. Hey, Lori. Hello. You got me with a bite of yogurt in my mouth. I know. You're all eating. <laughs> <laughs> so what, how did, how did you, how did you even think of doing a weight loss clinic and how did, how did that work? Well, <clears throat> even though I'm eating yogurt at nine o'clock at night, that's, that's a good thing because it's high protein. Um, I am I am a patient or client or whatever you want to call me at Medi Weight Loss because I've over the winter I've put on about ten pounds that I would like to get rid of um, before I see you next month, Diane. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really and, hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was there, and um, I was I was there for an appointment, and the PA who was you know in my, my session with me commented on my skirt. I had the bodycon skirt. And I said, oh, well, now that you've asked, <laughs> uh, you, it's, um, you, you've opened the door for me to talk to you about my, my new business that I'm doing. And so I proceeded to tell her about Winnie and Cat and how we do trunk shows and, oh, how great these clothes are for people that are in the transition of, of um, losing weight. So it's great for before you lose weight, 
during your weight loss, and you can even wear them after you lose weight. Awesome. Um, so it's not like you're making an investment in something that you're not going to be, wear, be able to wear after you lose weight. So she said, oh, that would be great. All of our clients would love it. So the following week, we set up a trunk show in the, um, in the clinic. And we got a lot of interest, had some orders, and we've got two trunk shows booked as a result. Love it. Love it. Thank you for sharing that. So really, like, I mean, there's a few points with that, that it's the transition, that it makes you feel good during transition. You always have something to wear, and it's also financially helpful because you're not buying all sorts of clothes. So Mary, um, I, wanted, I wanted Mary to share. Are you there, Mary? Hello. Hey, Mary. So Hi. What, what were you saying about the poolside dress? Well, I was saying that um, about you know, not going shopping, I, I wear something from Winnie and Cat every day. So I spend some of my income buying new pieces, but I've also sold four poolside dresses by wearing my poolside dress on many occasions. Um, people see it and they're just floored and anytime I wear something new, it just piques their interest and I just sell from that. Mary, I have a question for you. Yes. Uh, so, I one of the one of the um, I guess hesitations I hear sometimes is, oh, I can't wear that because I'm too tall. Um, <laughs> how tall? How tall are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm six one and a half. Thank you. So that, You're I mean, welcome. The, the, <laughs> Perfect example. Mary just rocks it. It looks amazing. Posts it. You look so cute in the poolside dress. So um, I that's love awesome. it. That's, yeah, and, and and if you're even if you're not as tall as me, it will still look good on you. <laughs> right. Well, thank thank you, Mary. You're, thank you for sharing. Can't wait to see you tomorrow night. Um, Anastasia yes. said she wants to see a picture of you in it. Um, I know oh. you posted one on your side. But can I? I'll share the one that you posted on Facebook on Winnie and Cat. Okay. 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 All right. Thanks, Mary. Yeah, she looks amazing, Anastasia. So thank you, everybody, for sharing. Um, really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. All right. I'm going to um, – got a few more things and uh, before, we, before we wrap up. Okay. So to, to recap, elements to a good pitch, short and prepared, shows what you and your business do clearly and succinctly. It's a brief – Emphasis, emphasis on brief, persuasive speech that is memorable. Cause someone to say, I want to know you. Okay? You want people to remember you. That's the point of your elevator pitch or whatever you call it, your 30-second pitch, whatever. You want people to remember you because there's we have so much information coming in all the time. Um, this is a website I'm recommending. Um, if you don't know this person, um, take a very, you know, <laughs> very sales in your face. I took a lot of this tonight from his, uh, from his YouTube videos. And, uh, just if you feel like you just need to kick in the rear end and you need to get going and you need to get some motivation, I highly recommend checking out Grant Cordone. And his website is Grant Cordone Success. He's written some books on sales as well. So, um, other stuff. The specials, okay, join in June is still going on. When you join in June, you get the romper and your choice of sizes. Small is sold out already, so we've got the mediums and larges, and these pieces go fast. There are limited edition pieces. The poolside dress is limited edition. Fourth of July is coming up, okay, so share this dress like crazy. I'm going to post soon a video with the plus side dress. It's a patriotic video made in the U.S. And what is a better piece to wear at your 4th of July barbecue than the plus side dress? So share it, sell it, because you got about you got a little over a week to sell that, to sell the plus side dress before the 4th. Of course, you can wear it after the 4th, but great, great 4th of July dress. So, um, And I know a lot of you around Christmas time, did um, free shipping towards the end, like a couple of days before the holiday, to get it out. So that's something that we can um, that's something we can work with you on. Um, no rompers. Um, Tiff had asked. Rompers are um, they're done. They're gone. 
Um, so make sure that you, uh, we do have mediums and larges left. So um, those were limited editions. I wasn't kidding when I said limited edition. Um, sometimes I am, but I wasn't on that one. Um, okay, so we, got, we have a grand opening party tomorrow. And while we do the grand opening, Tiff, can I ask you um, to share the special and how we're going to share it around the country too? Absolutely. This is going to be, I think, so much fun. We're going to do a grand opening booking blitz. So in your time zone between 5 and 7, um, if you sign up, if someone signs up as a stylist, um, they're going to get the Razorback tank for free in their kit. And I've already, one of the perks of being in the home office is I've tried it on and I love it. So um, this is a really exciting one. I'm super excited about that. And um, if you have someone sign up as a hostess and book a party um, during that 5 to 7 time, they're going to get the orchid wrap for free. And then when their party happens on the date you initially booked, you get double hostess benefits, which is awesome. So what we're going to have you do is write out your list and the dates of the parties and all that, your hostess name and all her information, and then email that to info at Winnie and Kat, and we'll keep track of that. Thanks, Tiff. Any, any questions on that special? Um, and Tiff, is it in their own, are we doing this, it's, it's in your own time zone, right? So, like, so not, it doesn't have to be. Coast, yeah, the East Coast is going to rock it first, and you guys are going to get it set up. And what's going to be so fun is we're going to be getting these, like, basically before we start our, um, our grand opening party here on the West Coast. So you ladies are going to kick it off. Nice. Um. And that's, yeah, that's it. It's in addition to the other two pieces if you just, if you join tomorrow during that time, um, during that time frame. So, and we will, um, we'll type it up and, uh, and shit, we can put it on the forum. And then um, this piece, actually, I don't think anybody's seen this piece yet because it's being introduced tomorrow. So, Tiff, just one more time. So, time zone is everybody's own time, correct? Absolutely. Between 5 and 7 p.m. in your own time zone. And then make sure that by, we're saying by 7.30, your time zone, email your list to info at Winnie and Cat, and that'll be the deadline. All right. Okay. I will put up, um, I'll put up a picture of the new piece. I am not coordinated enough to put it up on the slideshow, but I will put it up on the forum. So um, thank you, Tiff. Thank you for sharing. And, um, and thank you, Tiff, so much. You guys, Tiff, if you need help with, with your business, I mean, I, I want to thank, I just, I want to thank you, Tiff, because Tiff has really just, um, she has learned so much, and you probably know this already, but um, Tiff participates in WKRU. She, um, I mean, she just, Tiff, you just, you go above and beyond and you care so much about this company and all the stylists. So um, thank you. Thank you, Tiff, for that. And, um, and I know you're always thinking about how to improve Winnie and Cat and how we can grow. So it's really um, very, very appreciated. And Mary, congratulations again on winning the, uh, the sales contest last month. Mary is going to a concierge booked Four Seasons staycation compliments of Winnie and Kat and because you won the sales contest. So that's awesome. Congratulations, Mary. And the recruiting contest is um, underway in June. So um, if you, um, whoever recruits the most people, who brings the most people on this month, there's going to be a $200 concierge experience too, whatever you want to do. If you want to go out to eat, if you want to go you know, to a fancy restaurant, if you want to have a hotel, night at a hotel or whatever, and we'll book it for you and make sure that happens. And it looks like we might be giving out some Gucci bags soon for the Fresh Start. And if you need some, um, if you need a refresher on the Fresh Start, that's on the forum on getting started. And the, um, I think that's it. Oh, WKRU. If you have, if you are in Winnie and Cat Recruiting University, make sure you stay up to date. This is really, really good stuff. Okay. If you've fallen off. Get back on.
get back on and listen to, take the time to listen to WKRU because it's, it's really helpful stuff. Um, and the faux wrap dresses, the short sleeve faux wrap dresses will be back in stock. Um, we're taking orders again. They'll be back in stock on Friday. We expect them to be shipped or to arrive here in the warehouse on Friday. So we can, so we're going to put them back in the, I think Cheney put them back in the shopping cart today. If not, they'll be going right back in. And then just know that those orders, the orders that have faux wrap dresses will ship, um, they should be shipping by Monday. They should be shipping again. And then, um, and Mary also, I uh, have that great post that you had shared from um, your sister-in-law about the short sleeve wrap dress. So I was waiting to post that until they're back in stock. So we've got a great post on that as well. Okay, I'm going to leave you with some quotes. This again, this is from that um, the website that I shared. Okay, three different quotes to help you out this week. Promise and hope followed up with work. I love that because we all have, we've got promise and hope when we join the company, when we start an endeavor, and then you just follow it up with work, 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 work. This is hard work. It's not easy, and we can do it. Anything worthwhile takes a lot of work. I like this one, too. Where is the American dream? It's in you learning how to pitch learning how to make your pitch, learning how to talk about your business. That's where the American dream is. The American dream is inside of you, and you're not going to get it from anyone else. You're not going to get it from an employer. You're not going to get it anywhere else. You can get the American dream from inside of you. I love this one, too, this third one. When you wake up feeling a bit lost, it's no big deal. Everyone experiences this. Just get up. It'll pass. Those feelings pass, right? Just get up. Figure out what you need to do. If you need to take a walk, you know, for me, it's for me, it's getting on a, a on a cardio machine. And I know, like any bad day, that fixes it. Or you know, it might be I don't know what it is. Whatever it is for you, if it's if it's sitting outside, if it's taking your dog for a walk, whatever it is, figure it out. Just get up, and it'll pass. So thank you everybody for joining me tonight. You guys are awesome, and you ain't seen nothing yet. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye, everybody.